Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. So I've got two new journals to share with you. I'm revisiting the sewing theme again uh, with these beautiful butterick, um, what are they called? Sewing pattern pouches. So I, I love these. And I just patched work some fabric on uh, and to create more interest there. So cool. <laughs> love it. So thank you so much to Tonya who sent me these gorgeous um, pouches and I showed her in a live what I did with them <laughs> so she's like glad they're being put to good use so this one is actually already sold um, so I'll do a flip through of that one at the end this one will go up in my Etsy so I just show you uh, some pages from the pouch in the you know the sewing patterns I included into the journal which is so fun love it oh and this one's called the fashion one I'm calling the other one Butterick because this one has an extra wording on it. So I've made these little um, journal cards backed onto coffee dyed paper with these cool images and they're scattered throughout the journal. And then we've got one of my tags with the pockets sewn on and we have a vintage swap card inside. So I thought that was so sweet. We've got some authentic vintage ephemera in this journal. So let's just put that back here and I like sticking that on top of the paper clip like that so she can peek out. Got these gorgeous sewing pages here, coffee dyed paper, gone with a vintage sewing theme so more sewing paper from a different book. Got a doily, a large pocket and just an extra page of the sewing pattern here. This is so cool, this is illustrated dictionary or encyclopedia. And I just chose a page that has the fashion, like the dresses. So fun. There's some pocket pages with more journal cards in here. One of my clusters with a bit of trim on top. And it's also got um, from vintage pattern paper. Put that on the top as well. Purchase order. So I thought this was kind of fun to kind of represent buying bolts of fabric or something to make the dresses out of. I like the tracing paper so you can see through it. Note paper, pocket page here with two extra journal cards inside. Love this pattern paper. We've got vintage ledger paper here and another journal card in the pocket page. Here's the duplicate copy of the purchase order. I love the colours too. And this is Authentic Vintage Ephemera 2, this receipt docket thingy. And then here's like the duplicate copy of the receipt. So it's a flip and you've got some secret journaling space under there as well. And then we've got another pocket page and journal card. The other side of the vintage ledger paper. Pattern, pattern paper. <laughs> And more journal cards tucked inside. Another journal card paper clipped on. I've got a guest check here. And another one here. In this pocket I've just put this card here. <laughs> I like how it's got the J so it's like J from my name. <laughs> so a bit of me represented in here but I just love this design. And it's actually textured and feels like it's velvety, so I thought that worked well with the fashion theme um, and the flourishes. Maybe that's the company of a fashion company or something. I've got another scrap cluster here and it features some of that pattern paper on top and some vintage ledger paper. Journal card. And they do come with a bag of ephemera. so. Let's pull all this out. So I've got some extra journaling cards with the buttons, skirt, the ladies, sewing, got the coffee dyed Rolodex card and the little flip up here. Oh, and we've also got the flash card inside and the tags and a coin envelope. And we've got glassine envelope and glassine bag. Got a bunch of these doilies. Some of them are from my Etsy. Or some of them are from Johanna's Etsy. 
and then we've got an index card and some postcard digitals so fun one of these coin envelopes and then of course the damask bag so there's plenty of writing space in these journals but you can fill it up with your own ephemera or using this ephemera in the bag just lots of fun different bits and pieces there to play with all right and so this one we'll do a flip through i love the scissors and this is so cute so jude if you're watching she already has reserved this one i put the green dress here because you like green so that's the vintage swap card <laughs> and i love the tag how you can put it in the tag with the pocket so I'm not sure if she actually wants to see a flip through of this or if she wants it to be a surprise, but there's the ladies again. Um, she already saw the cover and what types of pages were going into it. The trim and the vintage ledger and vintage sewing paper, the purchase order, all the same types of things. I love this skirt, how cool is that? <laughs> With all the ruffles, love this page, vintage page, vintage ledger. And so I love incorporating the sewing thing with the vintage papers and ephemera. Love this little trim there. Again here. So I hope she likes it. She already told me how she's going to use it, adding her own sewing and photos related to sewing in here. So that's really exciting. I love this page. It's got the gild, the gold gilding on the edge. So pretty. So I hope it's fills up nicely for you Jude. That's why, another reason why I didn't um, include all the things in that goodie bag in the journal. So she's got room to decorate if she wants but there's also lots of blank pages to add her own photos and everything. And there's the same goodie bag with various items, all the same types of items but maybe a different picture or something. So there you go. Um, so this one will be in my Etsy. Um, I'll leave a link to Willow Bound Journals below. And yeah, it's so fun revisiting these two journals, these two sewing themes, and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys!